Hello everyone, I'm Sao Zhong Wang from Andes Technology. Today, I will talk about our work on supporting OpenSeal for RISC-V. This is the agenda of my talk today. First, the basic concept of OpenSeal will be introduced. Then, I will present the OpenSeal extension for programming RBB course. Finally, the OpenSeal framework for risc file and the status will be described. OpenSeal stands for Open Computing Language, which is a popular programming framework for writing programs on heterogeneous platforms consists of CPUs, GPUs, DSPs, FPGAs, or hardware oscillators. Examples of host device pairs are SATCs, plus multiple NDIS NS27V, NDIS X45MP, plus multiple NDIS NX27V, and NDIS AX45MP, plus multiple highway oscillators. We will focus first on this talk. OpenCL is composed of two components. OpenCL Runtime and OpenCL Kernel Language OpenCL Runtime includes Platform Layer and Runtime API. Platform Layer API are used to query, select, and initialize the compute device. And Runtime APIs are used to build and dispatch kernel program and manage platform resource. The kernel must be written in OpenCL Kernel Language. Multiple instances of a kernel function can be executed in parallel. It includes a subset of C99, but with some language extension and some building functions. The picture shows how OpenSeal works in practice. OpenSeal application is divided into host program and kernel programs. The host program is compiled by host compilers such as GCC or Clang and run on the host. Host program involves OpenSeal runtime and the platform API to dispatch kernels on device, read and write data between host and device. The kernel programs can be compiled online or statically. For online compilation, the kernel programs are passed to OpenSeal compiler through runtime APIs. Then the compiled kernel Programs are also dispatched to the hardware oscillator by runtime APIs. Of course, the CPU can also be viewed as OpenCL device. Kernel can be run on both CPU and the hardware oscillators. They are used a sample to explain more about OpenCL framework. Right side is a simple C program that uses the loop to add two vectors. This is the Hello World program to demonstrate the data parallel programming. We want to parallel this loop body into OpenCL style. Before writing the OpenCL kernel, we must realize how to express the data parallelism in OpenCL and define a problem domain to execute the kernel. In OpenCL, the word item can be viewed as a thread of the abstraction of smallest parallel executing unit. A set of word items can be grouped into a word group. Each word item in the same word group can be synchronized by barrier or memory fence viewing functions. For vector addition, the following define the problem domain. We must process two arrays with 100 elements. One kernel instance is called the addition for one array element, and the 100 kernel instances are totally executed. This is a kernel program for vector addition. We can see the frequency used C extension for OpenCL. The function qualifier is used to identify the function is kernel, and the address space qualifies private, local global or constant are used to annotate the data locations. The gate group ID is the viewing function that returns the unique ID for what item. In OpenCL, 
This ID is usually used as a array index to load and store the data. Therefore, each word item can be run with the same kernel program with different data set. This is the partial code of OpenSeal Vector Edition host program. The basic OpenSeal host program has this step. First, create the OpenSeal contact, define the running OpenSeal device, and then create the command queue. Second, allocate the memory buffer for use. Third, invoke OpenSeal compiler to dynamically compile kernel programs or load the compiled kernel binary. Fourth, set up the executed kernel and its related arguments. Fifth, set the parallel work dimension and dispatch the kernel on device. Finally, read the resolve back from device. This is our OpenSeal platform. The host is x86 and the device has 32 and x27v cores with RBB support. The device has global memory which can be accessed by host, and each core has its own local memory. In this platform, each core runs one or more items at one time, and host runtime dispatch all group to multi cores for parallel execution. Once some core are idle, the host will assign a new work group to execution. From previous page, we know that the device code support this file V extension. Therefore, we must solve how to program hardware with multiple RVV codes. For now, we integrate the RVV intrinsic into OpenCL and support new building function for easy programming. The left side is the better addition sample right in C with RVV intrinsic. And the right side is writing in OpenCL with RVV intrinsic. The get work ID is the new building function. According to the element size, problem size, and the problem dimensions, the get work ID returns the index of the first element to execute by a raw item, and each work item performs scalable vector addition once. For now, we have a hybrid platform to support our tool development and customer's usage where PC run the S86 host code, and the configure number of NS27V in ND scenes runs the device call. The communication between the host and device is done by GDB. Our OpenSeal runtime is composed of host and device layer. The host layer is portable to different targets and the device layer is designed to port in for customer's platforms. To support a new platform, at least, the device query scheme for OpenSeal platform layer and the kernel launch scheme for OpenSeal runtime functions must be implemented. This slide shows our OpenSeal compilation flow. First, OpenSeal clan compiles the OpenSeal kernel into Spear. Spear is an intermediate language for parallel compute defined by kernels. Spear is based on LVN IR. Although Spear is based on LVN, it is with some difference to RISC-V ABI. Therefore, Spear will be translated into LVN IR, which is compatible to RISC-V ABI. Then the work item grouping is performed to create a new function that is queue all work items in a work group. Finally, the target binary is generated by RISC-V code we are focused on platforms includes RISC-V QMU. The host and device are both NDs RISC-V core, and the X86 plus ND scene. The test target is RV64GVC. We are working on OpenSeal CTS. For RISC-V QMU, most test case is past its minor issue to be classified with upstream. And for X86 plus ND scene, it is ongoing and we expect to pass soon. We are also rewriting well-known OpenSeal applications by OpenCLC with RBB intrinsic. After passing CTS, we will focus on optimizations for RBB compilation and the host framework. 
Thank you for your listening. Any question?